When Amazon announced its new Kindle Paperwhite this month, I was tempted to buy it on the spot and add to cart. Then right before I hit the buy button, I heard that little voice in my head. Joanna, you know it isn't 2007 anymore, right? You don't really need a $120 e-reader, especially when you have an iPad. Actually, you're wrong, little voice in my head. There's two reasons I keep buying e-readers and why I've been waiting for this new Paperwhite. The first reason is this new high-resolution e-ink screen, which I can actually use to read on in direct sunlight, unlike the iPad's mirror, I mean, screen. The six-inch e-ink screen isn't only readable in direct sunlight. It now has the same high-resolution 300 ppi screen as Amazon's more expensive $200 Kindle Voyage. From afar, the difference between the old Paperwhite screen and the new one isn't always obvious, but up close, you can no longer make out the pixels. The lettering looks closer to a real paper book than anything else out there. That said, e-ink really does feel like a decade-old technology. Even though page turns and response times have gotten faster, there's still a slight delay when you turn pages and tap on menu buttons. It can be frustrating. The second reason I prefer to read a long novel on an e-reader, the great distraction-free reading experience. When I read a good novel, I don't want to be distracted by notifications and other apps. I just want to sink my teeth into the words, and this Kindle does that better than ever. There's a new Amazon-created font, and text formatting has been improved. I also love seeing how long I have left in a chapter, and the built-in light is great for reading in light and dark environments. But while the Paperwhite is light, comfortable, and has weeks of battery life, it's still pretty thick. If you want thinner, you have to spend $80 more on the Voyage, and even then it feels like it should be thinner. If you're wondering about the e-reader competition, Amazon barely has any these days. Barnes & Noble still sells the Nook Glow Light, but it hasn't been updated in about two years. I am a fan of the waterproof Kobo Aura H2O, but it's $180 and doesn't have the Kindle's high-res screen, nor its popular ebook store. I'm sure one day the Paperwhite will be slimmer and have an even better screen. Of course, that's how Amazon keeps getting me to buy these things. Whatever. What else are you going to buy today? A VCR? 